Hello everyone, welcome back to Chinda DIY. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to crochet a mini cake box. It is an easy pattern and friendly for beginners. For this box, you can store a small gift inside or you can put the jewelry inside the cake. Ok, now let's get into the video. First thing first, make a magic circle or magic ring. And next, for row 1, we are going to make single crochet into the circle. To make single crochet, insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull up a loop and now you have two loops on your hook. Yarn over and pull through all two loops. Keep making single crochet into the circle until you got 6 stitches. Then I will meet you back again. And after you got 6 stitches of single crochet, then pull the short string tight to close the circle. And next, we are going to make slip stitch into the first single crochet stitch. To make slip stitch, continue insert the hook into the loop. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. And this is what the first row looks like. Next, for row 2, chain 1. For chain 1, we don't count as a stitch. And then we are going to make increase into the same loop with chain 1 by make 2 single crochet into the same loop. Don't forget to use stitch marker to mark at this first single crochet stitch. Keep making increase into every stitch around until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch into the stitch that you mark. And after you have made slip stitch, for row 2 you must have 14 stitches in total. Next, for row 3, chain 1. And make single crochet into the same loop with chain 1. Then may increase into the next stitch. After you have made increase, then we are going to keep repeating this by make one single crochet and then increase. Okay, 
Repeat this around until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. For row 3, you must have 21 stitches in total. Next, for row 4, chain 1. Then make increase into the same loop with chain 1. And after you have made increase, then make single crochet into the next two stitches. After you have made two single crochet, and then we are going to keep repeating this by make increase. And then make two single crochet. Keep repeating this around until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. For row 4, you must have 28 stitches in total. Next, for row 5, chain 1. Then make single crochet into the next 3 stitches. After you have made 3 single crochet, and then may increase into the next stitch. Keep repeating this around until you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. For row 5, you must have 35 stitches in total. Next, for row 6, chain 1, and may increase into the same loop with chain 1. After you have made increase, then make single crochet into the next 4 stitches. After you have made 4 single crochet, and then keep repeating this by make increase and then single crochet into the next 4 stitches. Repeat around until you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. For row 6, you must have 42 stitches. Next, for row 7, chain 1, and make single crochet into the next 5 stitches.
after you have made 5 single crochet and then may increase into the next stitch. After you have made increase, then repeat this around until you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. For row 7, you must have 49 stitches. Next, for row 8, chain 1 and may increase into the same loop with chain 1. After you have made increase, then make single crochet into the next 6 stitches. After you got 6 stitches of single crochet, then keep repeating this by make increase and then make 6 single crochet. Repeat around until you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. For row 8, you must have 56 stitches in total. Row 9, chain 1 and make single crochet into the next 7 stitches. After you got 7 stitches of single crochet, then make increase. Keep putting this around until you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. For row 9, you must have 63 stitches in total. Next, for row 10, chain 1 and may increase into the same loop with chain 1. After you have made increase, then may single crochet into the next 8 stitches. After you have made 8 single crochet, then keep repeating this by making increase and make single crochet into the next 8 stitches. Repeat around until you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch.
For row 10, you must have 70 stitches in total. Next, for row 11, chain 1. Then make single crochet into the next 9 stitches. After you have made 9 single crochet, then may increase. After you have made increase, then repeat this around until you reach the end of the row and make slip stitch. For row 11, you must have 77 stitches. Next, for row 12, chain 1 and may increase into the same loop with chain 1. After you have made increase, then make single crochet into the next 10 stitches. And after you got 10 single crochet, then keep repeating this by making increase and then make 10 single crochet. Repeat around until you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. For row 12, you must have 84 stitches in total. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 12. And then you can chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And repeat the same thing to the other side. As you can see, this is my first piece. For the second piece, you don't have to cut off the yarn. And next, cut the plastic canvas a little bit smaller than your crochet piece. It is for support the base of the cake to shape and stand like a box. And next, turn both sides right side out and we are going to attach both sides together. As you can see, this V shape of the single crochet stitch. So we are going to working the stitch into the back loop of the stitch only. For the second side, we also working the stitch into the back loop too. Next, continue make slip stitch with the other side by insert the hook into the stitch where we make slip stitch. Yarn over and pull through all the loops. Next, for row 1, chain 1 and make single crochet back loop only both sides together. By insert the hook into the back loop of the first side and continue insert the hook into the back loop of the second side. Yarn 
yarn over and pull through both loops. And now you have two loops on your hook. Then yarn over and pull through all two loops. Keep repeating this into every stitch around until you reach the end of the row. Then we meet you back again. When you reach the half round, don't forget to insert this plastic canvas into this crochet piece. As you can see, I already insert the plastic canvas between this both sides and then continue make single crochet both sides together until the end of the row. And after you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch into the first stitch. Next, for row 2, chain 1. And make single crochet into every stitch around until you reach the end of the row. Then we meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch into the first stitch. For the next next row, please keep repeating row 2 until you reach row 15, then we meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach row 15. For the measurement from row 1 until row 15, it is equal to 2.5 inches length. Remember, for the last row, you must make single crochet a little bit tight. And then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And this is what the cake box looks like. And next, we are going to make the frosting of the cake. To begin, turn the bottom of the cake face down and attach the yarn into the bottom edge loop. Next, chain 4. For chain 4, we don't count as a stitch. And after you got 4 chains, then we are going to make treble or triple crochet 4 stitches together into the same loop. To make treble or triple crochet, yarn over twice, insert the hook into the same loop with chain 4, yarn over and pull up a loop. And now you have 4 loops on the hook, yarn over pull through 2 loops, and yarn over pull through 2 loops again. And now you must have two loops on the hook. Then we are going to keep repeating this for three more times into the same loop.
and after you got 4 treble crochet with chain 4 and 5 loops on the hook, then yarn over and pull through all the loops. This is how we made treble crochet 4 stitches together. Next, skip 1 stitch and make slip stitch into the next 2 stitches. After you have made 2 slip stitch, then we are going to keep repeating the same thing like the first treble crochet by chain 4 and make 4 treble crochet into the same loop with chain 4. Then skip one stitch and make slip stitch into the next two stitches. Keep repeating this around until you reach the end of the row. Then we we'll meet you back again. After you reach the end of the row, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. You have to check the frosting and stretch the box a little bit to give a fit and nice looking. And this is what the inside looks like. And this is what the bottom part looks like. And next, we are going to make the cover of the box. For the cover, you just repeat the same thing like the base of the cake by make 12 rows. And next, we are going to add one more row. For row 13, chain 1 and make single crochet into every stitch around until you reach the end of the row and make slip stitch. For row 13, you just make no more row, no increase. And after you have made slip stitch, and this is what it looks like. It looks a little bit curved, but you can stretch the edge to make it flat. And then cut the plastic canvas to fit this cover. Next, continue from where your last stitch is for row 14, chain 1. And we are going to make single crochet back loop only. Keep making single crochet back loop only into every stitch around until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch into the first stitch. After you have made slip stitch, next, for row 15, chain 1, and make single crochet into every stitch around until the end of the row, then make slip stitch. And this is what the cover looks like. It looks curved again and you just straight the edge of the cover to make it flat. Mm -hmm. 
Then try the plastic canvas into the cover again to make sure that it fit. I stretch the edging of my box to make it fit with the cover. Because of my crochet tension, sometimes I crochet it loose, sometimes I crochet it tight. So I have to check to make sure that it fit perfect. And next, continue from where your last stitch is. And we are going to make slip stitch. Make sure that you make slip stitch a little bit loose. Keep making slip stitch into every stitch around until the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, then leave a long tail of yarn and cut it off. For the remaining yarn, you just weave in into the wrong side of the cover. And next, we are going to make slip stitch around the top edge of the cover. Attach the yarn into the top edge. Then make slip stitch into every stitch around until the end of the row. Then we meet you back again. Remember for making slip stitch, you must make it a little bit loose. And after you reach the end of the row, then leave a long tail of yarn and cut it off. For the remaining yarn, just weave in into the wrong side of the stitch. Next, we are going to make the frosting on top of the cover. Remember, you're working the stitch into the front loop of the slip stitch only. To begin, attach the yarn into the front loop. Then chain 4 and make 5 treble crochet into the same loop with chain 4. And next, skip one stitch and make slip stitch into the next two stitches.
After you have made slip stitch, then we are going to repeat the same thing like the first treble. Keep repeating this around until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, then chain 1 and cut off the yarn. And next, we are going to make the middle frosting. To begin, attach the yarn into the back loop of the slip stitch that left from the top frosting. Then chain 3 And make the bulk shade 2 together into the same loop with chain 3 To make the bulk shade, yarn over, insert the hook into the loop, yarn over and pull up a loop And now you have 3 loops on your hook Then yarn over pull through 2 loops Then repeat the same thing into the same loop After you got two the bulk of shade with three loops on the hook, then yarn over push through all the loops. Next, skip one stitch and make slip stitch into the next two stitches. Then repeat the same thing by chain 3 and make 2 double crochet into the same loop. Keep repeating this around into every stitch until you reach the end of the row. Then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach the end of the row. And next, we are going to make the third frosting. To begin, attach the yarn into the front loop of the slip stitch. Remember, we only work in the stitch into the front loop. Then chain 3 and make the bulk of shade 3 together into the same loop with chain 3. Then skip one stitch and make slip stitch into the next two stitches. Keep repeating this around into every stitch until the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. And this is what it looks like after you reach the end of the row. Next, we are going to make the top frosting. To begin, make a magic circle. And 
then make 10 single crochet into the circle After you got 10 single crochet, then pull the short string tight to close the circle and make slip stitch into the first stitch. Next, chain 3 and make double crochet increase by make 6 double crochet into the same loop. After you got 6 double crochet in the same loop, you have to pull this double crochet stitch to see the next loop and repeat the same thing into every stitch around until the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, you just make slip stitch and weave in the yarn into the wrong side of the stitch until you reach the middle part. And don't forget to leave a long tail of yarn. And next, we are going to make this cherry. To begin, make a magic circle. For row 1, make 6 single crochet into the circle. After you got 6 single crochet, then make slip stitch into the first stitch. Next, follow 2, chain 1, and make increase into every stitch around. After you reach the end of the row, then make slip stitch. You must have 14 stitches in total. Next, for row 3 and row 4, chain 1 and make single crochet into every stitch around, then make slip stitch. Remember, for row 3 until row 4, you just make no more row, no increase.
And this is what it looks like after you reach row 4. Then put the cotton stuffing into this small cherry. If you don't have the cotton stuffing, you can cut your old fabric and fill in. Next, for row 5, chain 1, and we are going to make decrease by make single crochet 2 stitches together. To make single crochet decrease, insert a hook into the loop, yarn over and pull up a loop, and now you have 2 loops on your hook. Then continue insert the hook into the next loop, yarn over and pull up a loop, and now you have 3 loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all 3 loops. Keep repeating this into every stitch around until you reach the end of the row, then I will meet you back again. And after you reach the end of the row, you must have 7 stitches of decreasing stitch. Then continue make slip stitch into the first stitch. And after you have made slip stitch, then leave a long tail of yarn and cut it off. And next, use the a needle to weave in the yarn into every stitch around. Then pull the short string tight to close the circle and sewing the edging together. For this increasing side must be the top part of the cherry and this is the bottom of the cherry. And next, we are going to make the stem for the cherry by make a knot for two times. And leave a long tail of yarn and cut it off. Then attach this string into the top part of the cherry. And it should look like this. And next, Attach the frosting and the cherries into the middle part of the cover.
And next, use dining needle to sewing the plastic canvas into the cover. And now the cover of the box is done, and this is what it looks like. You have to stretch the edge of the cover a little bit to make it fit with the box. And next, we are going to make the mini flower. To begin, make a magic circle. Then chain 2 And next, make 2 double crochet into the circle After you got 2 double crochet, then chain 2 Then make slip stitch into the circle And this is count as a first petal for the next next petal, you just repeat the same thing like the first one until you got 5 petals, then I will meet you back again. And after you got 5 petals, then pull the short string tight to close the circle. And chain 1, cut off the yarn. And next, make the middle seed of the flower by make the knot for two times. And cut off the yarn. Then attach it into the middle part of the flower. And now we are done for the mini flower. Please repeat this until you got 8 flowers. And next, we are going to attach this flower into the cake. If you guys have the glue, you can glue this flower onto the cake. If you don't have, you can use this method.
And now we are done attach the flower into the cake and this is what the inside looks like and put everything together and this is what the whole cake looks like and now for the mini cake box is done if you like this tutorial please don't forget to click like and leave a positive comment down below subscribe to my channel and don't forget to follow me on my social medias stay safe and stay healthy and i will see you guys in the next video bye bye